Hey, this is Mrs. Williams, and I'm just going to go over a few problems on um, rational expressions. So this says, for each expression, do the following. A, find the domain restrictions. B, simplify the expression. So for part A, with the domain restrictions, if you have a rational expression, it just means you have a monomial or a polynomial in your numerator and in your denominator. The thing with domain restrictions with a polynomial is you don't ever want your denominator to equal zero. It's, a rational expression is basically a fraction, and so if you remember back to fractions, you never want zero in your denominator. That's what we call undefined in math. So if you had um, you know, 5 divided by 0, you could put that in your calculator and you'll see it'll say you know, error. Um, so we want to find out where does this denominator equal 0 because that is what we're going to restrict. It cannot equal 0. So the two ways you're going to get 0 here is if a was 0 or if b was 0. Because if either one of those um, variables are 0, you're going to get 18 times 0 to the 4th times b to the 7th. Well, 0 times anything is 0. And 0 times 18, or b to the 7th, is, again, still 0. 0 times anything is 0. And so that is going to um, be 0 and be bad. It's going to be a, a 0 in our denominator. And the same thing with b. We'd have 18 times a to the 4th times 0 to the 7th. And again, you're still going to have 0 times 18 a to the 4th, which is overall 0. So your two domain restrictions for this problem would be that a cannot equal 0 and b cannot equal 0 either. So that's part a. Simplifying the expression. What you want to do to simplify the expression, actually, first let me I'll delete this just to give myself some room here. Um, what you're going to do if you don't have any terms. In other words, you just have a monomial in the numerator and in the denominator. You don't have C plus or minus signs in here. What you can do is just go ahead and um, cancel common factors. So if you look at the 3 and the 18, they both have a factor of 3. 3 goes into 3 one time and 3 goes into 18 six times. And then with the A's, A to the 6 means that you have six a's in the numerator. And let me write that out just so you can see. So you have six a's multiplied out like this, but we write it as a to the sixth so that we don't have to write all of those out. But to show you, you know, just how they will cross out, I'll write it out for you. And you can see that one a in the top and one a in the bottom will cancel. And this idea comes from a number over itself is one. So for example, if you have two over two, you will remember that that would actually reduce down to 1. Or, you know, negative 102 over negative 102. Any number over itself is going to be 1. And so that's why these a's are going to cancel, because you have 1 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator, the same 1. So the, you know, just keep crossing them out until you find all your pairs. Oh, actually, <laughs> sorry about that. I crossed. I was talking and not writing. Oh, well, let me see if I, I can do my eraser here. OK, let's write that A back in. OK, so 4 in the top and 4 in the bottom are going to cancel. OK, so in the top, you can see that I'm just going to have two A's left. So I could write that as I'm going to have an A to the second power in the numerator and nothing in the denominator. So you can probably see what's happening if you look at the 6 and the 4, see how it was a to the 6 and a to the 4th? What happened was you actually subtracted those to get a to the 2nd. So we could do b to the 8, b to the 7th. You can see by subtracting the 8 and the 7, um, you're just going to actually end up with 1b in the numerator, and all these b's in the denominator will cancel out. So your final answer, you're going to just leave um, everything in the numerator that's there, 1a squared b over 6. And you actually don't have to write the 1. Usually we don't. If it's a coefficient of 1, we don't write it. And so you'd end up with a squared b over 6 would be your answer for part b, the simplified expression.